Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we're back this year again with another dedicated Halloween outfit video. I did one last year which was testing Halloween outfits from Pretty Little Things. So I'll leave like a link up here and in the description so you can go and check that out from last year. But it did really well so I thought I would do it again this year and this Halloween. But instead I'm going to do it from Sheen. So I've got everything out in front of me. And I feel like this is going to be a really good video <laughs> because the outfits actually look kind of cool. So I'm just like fingers crossed that everything fits and looks good on and I'm trying to upload this as quick as I can because obviously it takes about two weeks to arrive but I think two weeks from when I upload this it's going to be like the Halloween weekend so fingers crossed that if you want some of this stuff it comes in time but a lot of it as well you could probably like substitute and everything I don't know you might have some stuff already in your wardrobe that you can use for it I think I've got five or six different outfit ideas for you because I've actually never been out for Halloween before but I know a lot of people do dress up for Halloween and need some like last minute outfit inspiration so hopefully this video helps you in some way if it does then give this video a thumbs up subscribe down below for more and let me know if you want any other halloween style videos i've popped on my halloween earrings which i don't think i've worn since like year five or something but they've got these little skulls on them i don't even know where to start like what's my favorite i don't even know we're gonna start with like the most subtle outfit because i feel like if i went out this would probably be what i would wear out of everything maybe because it's still kind of like glam and dressed up but then it is still fancy dress so I think this is like a very subtle way of dressing up for Halloween so you can kind of dress it up so it's like sparkly pop some sparkly heels on a sparkly bag I thought this is my kind of outfit I don't actually think it was meant to be a set but it literally works perfectly together I picked up the top which is just this little like bracer I think kind of style top it's all covered in sparkly gems and it's like the rib cage so as you can tell outfit number one is a skeleton it's like a really soft material it's actually really nice and I can't remember the prices of everything but as I always do with all my videos, I'll leave links to everything. I'll do it like outfit by outfit in the description box below so you can go straight to the website. Also, I'll just tell you all the sizes it can be quite useful because sheen sizing can also be quite confusing. So I got a size medium in this. And then I got these wide leg trousers to go with it, which I just think are like so cool. They're just like almost tailored style trousers. And obviously they are the skeleton leg. The only thing that you can tell this isn't a set is I didn't realise, but the gems on here they reflect like holographic so you've got like pink green purple they're like multicolored. whereas the ones on the top are silver I got in a size small and I think the waist looks fairly big on this but then they look slightly short for me and I think I've noticed this with Sheen I think for Sheen I do think I'm a bit too tall everything comes up just a little bit short on me whereas my sister who's like five foot five five foot six she is like the perfect le like everything's the perfect length for her got the outfit on and i'm a little bit sad because <laughs> i feel like this looks a lot better in my head than what it does on top fits perfectly it's got like a good amount of stretch to it like it's really comfortable and i've just paired this bag which i actually got from primark it's just like a little silver sparkly bag which i thought worked well it's the trousers that let it down which i'm really sad about so first of all as you can tell they're very low waisted trousers i just feel like if they were here like that <laughs> It would just look so much better if they were high-waisted. But I am a high-waisted kind of person. So if you like low-waisted stuff, then you'll really like these trousers. But yeah, I'm just so sad that they're not high-waisted. I just don't feel comfortable going out with low-waisted stuff on. And obviously, I said they're a little bit short. So they look a bit like ankle swingers on me. But I think it's a really cool outfit. Like, I think with lights on you it would look so shimmery so just so you can see it at full length obviously this is the outfit on and then just from the back it's just completely plain my next outfit is medusa as i said you could kind of just like if you had a green dress already then you can use something like that i just picked up this dress from sheen so it's like a long kind of maxi dress but it's got a really high split at the side medusa is like all dark green or even like if you wanted to go like poison ivy then you could get this with a different prop of like ivy on your face or do makeup different it kind of has this like circular part in the middle and then it goes cut out 
at the side and then the back is really like nice because it's all open and crisscrossy i feel yeah i'm just gonna show you what it looks like this is the prop i got from sheen i saw it on there and i was like this is just perfect for like a medusa outfit it's so much bigger in real life than what i was expecting i kind of was like i'm gonna order this and it's gonna be some tiny little thing but it's actually massive it's really really good and like sturdy the only thing i would say is would i actually wear this out like imagine if you're going to london would you wear this in London? Probably not. Is this potentially my favourite look of the whole haul? Might be. <laughs> Might be one of the most impractical, but I'm quite proud of this outfit. I think this would be such a good Halloween outfit. It's very like wobbly on your head. You would kind of need to maybe, to be fair, if you could secure it in your head with like pin, like bobby pins or something, that's what you would need to figure out is how to secure a prop in your head. Um, on your head not in your head and I am obsessed with this dress it fits so well and I just think it's so flattering wow <laughs> even the eyes on the snakes are like silver so it just looks really good it's got this ring here and it comes up and over and it all kind of in interconnects so it goes into a crisscross and then you can just pull it tighter with a bow so from the back love it and it's got this like cut out detail here and it's got like a slit on this side and a slit on this side so i just think this is perfect it fits so well i got the dress in a size small just from the back that's what it looks like and like this i love it i think this is such a cool outfit the next one that i'm gonna do is cowboy or cowgirl I keep saying cowboy and my sister's like no cowgirl this keeps falling i'm gonna take this off <laughs> i saw this skirt and this is what made me do this outfit because i just thought it was really cute i got it in a medium just because i thought that would make it a bit longer it's so soft it's really like yeah i literally feels like a blanket it's just this mini skirt but obviously it's got like the cow print on it and then to match the fluff i came across this little top the fluff on it is again so soft it's almost like a corset design top and it looks like if you went to like a chalet or if you went like skiing this would be like a top you'd wear i feel like in the movies with like the little mittens and stuff like this again i think in a size small it's almost like brown knit and then it's got this really fluffy like trim going all around the bottom and the sides for my props i picked up this hat which i'm a little bit disappointed with like it looks a really nice hat but where it's been like flat packed and transported it's completely been squished i don't know if you can see so like the middle stayed right but the edges i feel like you would need to like add something in it just to kind of reshape it again and then i picked up two pairs of cowgirl boots because i wasn't sure which ones i prefer and to be fair i don't know if either of them really even go first ones i picked up were these and again they feel like really good quality so i picked up these like brown kind of ones they've got this pattern going all around them they're like quite pointy and then they've got a little bit of a heel and then these second pair are a little bit more unusual like i haven't really seen a pair like this before and it's probably the pair i prefer out of both of them but this is like a beige leather kind of design and then it's got a butterfly pattern going on it again they are pointed and they've just got little black heels to them i can't take myself seriously in this video i'm so chuffed with myself i feel like i was searching on the sheen website for quite a while at least like three or four hours probably on the sheen website to try and find all these outfits but i feel like they've all come together this is the cowgirl outfit hat it looks better on but it's still like a little bit misshapen so i think you would need to like put something in it for a long period of time so that it puffs it out i think it's quite good because you could use it in like winter anyway i think this is kind of a hat people wear anyway so you won't just have it for halloween and then never have it again i've like pulled this in quite a lot though to make it fit but this is the top it's so soft and then just from the back it's like that but i love all the fluff on it these are the boots that i've put on with it so these are the little boots with it just from the back this is it with the other boots i'm not sure which ones i prefer maybe these ones go slightly better maybe this next outfit is goddess which could also kind of go with great gatsby to be fair none of these are like scary halloween they're more like cute or pretty glam kind of outfits none of them are like gory or anything this is definitely a more glam outfit if you're wanting to dress up can we just take a moment to appreciate that this dress was from sheen like i think it might have been quite pricey but from sheen and it's really really good quality so i picked up this really gold tassely dress so it's kind of like a square 
neckline it's got all sequins going all over it and then it's got like layers of tassels literally the most sparkly glam dress ever and then these are the two props that i picked up for goddess sheen just has like every little thing you need like you probably wouldn't be able to buy this from many other websites tasha from love island always was wearing like ones of these around her arm um during the show so yeah i picked up one of these up and they're really cheap i think it was like one pound fifty and then i got this really cool headband which i think was actually sold as for a wedding which is kind of weird really like a cool design so it's all diamante on the middle part and then it has these like prongs which came like that but you just open them up and on each one it's like a string of diamonds with a big diamond this is also one of my favorites i feel so like glam right now headpiece is so cool i did try it on the other day and it really hurt but i wore it as like a headband and it was like so tight here that i literally couldn't wear it for more than like two seconds because it was like really painful but i think it's actually meant to be like tipped slightly more like a little bit more like a halo type so it's like here now it still does dig in a little bit but it's like bearable and yeah i can actually wear it for a longer period of time this is the arm piece which is like a little bit big but you basically can just put it a bit further up and pinch it in i think how is this dress from sheen i think it looks like it's meant to be like 80 pounds or something it literally looks like it's so expensive and they've made it like really well as well and the amount of sequins that are on this i don't even want to know like there's thousands of sequins on this from the back it's like that i think goddess is a good one to go for or like something like this is good to go for if you want to still be a little bit glam for halloween so that is the dress at full length it's not too short like it's a really good length on me um yeah i think this works really well i feel so like ch -ch -ch <laughs> um like, it's a really good like especially if you've got like a charleston or great gatsby fancy dress as well this would work really well now we're going to move on to the last outfit which i've got two outfits for because i couldn't decide which one to go for and the last outfit is going to be pirate so this is a top and skirt combo that i've like put together whereas the second outfit is like a dress for it so this is the top it's like got a built-in corset in into it it's just like big sleeves that like have elastic at the sides and the corset is almost like a suede material and then i've got it to go with this little skirt which again you could use this like on holiday or in summer so you don't just have to wear it it's not just a pirate outfit you could get like a lot more use out of this skirt i liked the way that it kind of went down at the middle um so it's just like this and it's got all like flower details going all over it embroidered also you could put the cowboy boots back on i think for this outfit but to make it pull piratey i got a head scarf um i just got a plain black one like a huge bit of black fabric basically and i think you just have to to put it on put it into like half so it's a triangle and then just pop it over your head and tie it at the back just someone tell me why it took so long to put this head thing on i could not do it but i'm kind of regretting getting black i think i should have got brown like this kind of brown so that it all tied in i mean the black and the black here kind of tie in i guess with the black here i think i actually have a different scarf not from sheen but i'll put that on it anyway just to show you what it looks like honestly i couldn't actually say what my favorite outfit has been so far i feel like they're all quite different but they all were kind of cool the top is slightly big so i got it in a size small but it's like big here i feel like this part here just needed to be a little bit more cinched maybe so it was like there maybe so if i actually did wear this out i'd probably just pop a quick thread through it and tie it a little bit tighter just to give it a little bit more shape in the skirt again is also really cute i didn't realize but the skirt is actually a squat they're quite see-through little shorts underneath it's nice and high-waisted like i actually do really like this skirt and then i just popped the same boots on as i did for the cowgirl outfit look this is the headscarf that i already had so as you see it's a little bit smaller so it has like this bit that floats out at the back but i think it ties the outfit in a little like with the outfit a little bit better this was actually from lush they do like wraps like this which are like one-offs so you probably can't get this exact one but i'm sure there is something similar on sheen or something like that i'm sure there's something similar to this or just a brown one but it's got black in it as well so it still ties in with the black on the boots this is i think better because it just ties in a lot more like with the brown and then the brown and then the brown boots and then the black on the boots ties in with the black on the scarf so i think this is better overall as an outfit but yeah this is the first 
Pyra outfit I picked up. Also, you could do like, if you wanted to do like a little bit of makeup, you could put like a little cross on your cheek here or something, just something really easy that you can literally do with like eyeliner. But then I did also pick up a dress because I thought, I wasn't sure if this was gonna work basically. So I did pick up a dress as a backup. This one is just all white. So again, you might have something similar already in your wardrobe like this. It's just really flowy, it's like mesh. And then it has this kind of corset detail in the middle already like embedded into it, which is good. It just goes out into a flowy bottom part, which has like multiple layers to it. So it's really good quality. I popped the dress on. I've just popped it back on with the black headpiece, but it's just not the same. I don't like this as much. I mean, it's a lot easier. I think it works. I just don't think, I don't know. I don't think the black goes again, but it is still a really good like piratey dress if you want something just plain white. The top of it, obviously it's like kind of all flowy at the sides. It does up with a like corset here. And then the bottom is just completely flowy. This is the other pirate dress, which I do think works really well as well but maybe with just different props that I think this black one doesn't work as well or I think you would need black boots maybe or a black corset or something. Yeah, that is the last outfit that I've picked up to show you. I hope that this has given you some like inspiration on what to wear. Maybe you've got some items already that you can kind of like pull from your wardrobe and just maybe buy a prop or something to make it look more like an outfit Halloween-y. Yeah, I definitely need to get to a Halloween event now. Whoever's having a Halloween event, please let me know. That is it for this video. I will see you next week. I post every Sunday at 5pm, so I will see you next week for another video. Bye!